man, talk about fatherhood and how, uh, you know, obviously you do have a lot of children and, and uh, you know, I've been around you to see in a short amount of time that you're a great father. How important is fatherhood to you, man? Um, not really big on it, to be honest. Not really big on it, to be honest. What do you mean by that? You're not big on it. Like you're, you're, I mean, you're a family man. I'm here with you. I see it. Yeah, but I'm only, I'm only like in here because you have. Oh well, I don't see, believe it's you. a crazy topic because I'm not the type like the sugar coat nigga. But I'm four walls all day, every day. When you say four walls, you mean locked in? Yeah. Just honed in on the music, mm -hmm. recording. Yeah. You can take the hat. I don't mind. We bond, we bond a lot, but I'm mostly literally inside. Working? No. No matter if I'm watching TV, I'm just sitting there all day. I'm stuck inside just one room. I don't really travel this house like that. So even in your own home, you'll be stuck in one room. I, I don't know. Like he wants the hat. He can take the hat. Let him take the hat. He wants it. You have it. Um, so what's your favorite Disney movie of all time? Um, The Little Vampire. The li oh, you about, um, I don't know The Little Vampire. Tr Transylvania? It's kind of old. It's about the kids. I think he stays in Switzerland or some shit. But, and the vamp the little it's a Disney movie? I watched it on Disney when I was little. Ma. Oh, shit. Ma. So we're like far apart in age. Well, not too far. 12 years. I don't age myself too much, but... When I was growing up, it was Lion King, Aladdin, Toy Story. Yeah. Those are the ones. Wait, so Toy Story, they old? Oh, yeah. Thanks, buddy. Damn. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I apologize, man. No disrespect. No, it's all good. I'm all this fuck. I get in and wash, man. man. Yeah, Toy Story's that old, the first one, at least. Well, so how's the brand? Whatever age you is. So, no, Do you want to wear that? The first Toy Story came out probably when I was like, I want to say like eight years old. Maybe nine. So it's definitely old school, but I don't know. Um, you got it? Go put it on, man. Throw everybody my front up here. He's fine. Babies are gonna baby, man. For you, man, talk about fatherhood and how, uh, you know, obviously you do have a lot of children. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I've been around you to see in a short amount of time that you're a great father. How important is fatherhood to you, man? Um, not really big on it, to be honest. What do you mean by that? You're not big on it? Yeah. Like you're, you're, I mean, you're a family, man. I'm here with you. I see it. Yeah, but I'm only, I'm only like in here because you have. Oh, well, I don't see, believe it. It's a crazy topic because I'm not the type, like the sugar coat nigga. But I'm four walls all day, every day. When you say four walls, you mean locked in? Yeah. Just honed in on the music, mm -hmm. recording? Yeah. You can take the hat. I don't mind. We bond, we bond a lot, but I'm mostly literally inside. Working? No. No matter if I'm watching TV, I'm just sitting there all day. I'm stuck inside just one room. I don't really travel this house like that. So even in your own home, you'll be stuck in one room? I, I don't know. Like, he wants the hat, he can take the hat. Let him take the hat. He wants it, you have it. Um, so even at home, you, I mean, obviously we're at a beautiful house right now, you, you have a beautiful home. You'll still kind of just stick to one room in the house. Yeah. What do you think, um, why is that you think, man? I don't know. I, I would say I'm like, I, I, ain't, I wouldn't say I'm going through a lot, I'm just me. Do you find yourself, you know, I've heard you refer to the music as, as therapy. I ain't gonna need this hat actually, because this is, this is bright. Um, do you feel like being alone in your thoughts is a form of therapy for you? It's kind of my way of staying sane. Being by yourself, being secluded, relaxing, is it watching TV, is it writing, is it? I don't do no writing. Um, yeah, watching TV and a video game. What is your go-to movie TV show? Like, what about TV shows? Like, what are you watching? What are you binge watching? What's your young boy binge watching? I'm born. So what do you watch? Man, but old shit. What's old to you? Because what's old to you might be. Like, um, this watch The Sopranos. Greatest, maybe top two show ever. Um, I watched The Godfather just back to back. All three? Mm -hmm. Third one's the worst one, right? Yeah. Mm. I think it's like one. It's kind of the best to see its growth, but you learn that, like, it kind of gives you the thought of that's why you need to stay dangerous. That's true. That's why, that's why you need to stay dangerous. Um, so you love Sopranos. Yeah. What about Breaking Bad? You ever watch Breaking Bad? Oh yeah, I watched that with my wife. Uh, um, a couple episodes. Probably, yeah, a couple episodes. I like it. Breaking Bad's crazy. The Wire's another one. If you love Sopranos, I watched The Wire too. Did you finish it? Yeah, I probably did. I watched it twice. The whole like it's me too. Season. Me too. I just rewatched it when the pandemic first started. I showed my wife, and it made me realize like, I don't know. It just got better the second watch. Like Omar Little has got to be one of the greatest uh, like TV characters ever. Like, mm -hmm. Who's your favorite character on The Wire? Mm -hmm. Bodie. Bodie, man. The story of Bodie, man. 
Shout out to Bodie. And he lasted so long in the show too. Yeah, he just ain't catch his cut at the right time. He didn't, man. That's real. You should, I feel like somebody should do, it could be you, anybody should do a song from the perspective of Bodie. Like, I think that would be crazy. Cause yeah, man, Bodie was, well, he, like, he hung around. He survived for so long yeah. in that show. Yeah, they hard too. It was fucking over on bad. For sure. That's dope, man. So The Wire's my favorite show of all time. What about uh, video games? What are you playing right now? Watch Dogs, um, Love Watch Dogs. Red Dead, and Madden. Red Dead Redemption is amazing. Um, we were talking earlier about it when you were on your horse, but if you're on Madden, what's your, what, 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 what squad are you picking this year? I've been, I've been running with the Dolphins a lot. Tyree, just, Tyree Kill's a cheat code, right? Yeah, just, it, man, that, that team is like strictly speed on offense. My son murders me. Tyree Kill. Every single time. Yeah, he's, kind of hard to guard. he's like the wide receiver Mike. So back in the day, Mike Vick, when he was in Madden, Mike Vick was kind of the cheat code in Madden. What's up, man? And um, I feel like Tyree Kill this year is the cheat code. Uh -huh. you high five? No. High five? Yeah. Man, I'm just having a one year old. My son's 18. My son's turned 18 here. All grown ass. Yeah, yeah. This is favorite word. Yeah. 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 Pound it. There we go. Yay. You're learning your words. You, you want the hat again? You can have it for a sec. It's bright though. Yeah. Oh, thank you for putting it back on my head. You're so polite. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I wonder, man, like, you know, when we think of like Mount Rushmore of this rap shit, and like I told you earlier, you've, you've kind of done something that not a lot of people have done, and you've been extremely successful in a very shallow business. Um, without, without being, you know, just kind of sticking to your, your, your beliefs, sticking to who you are the whole time. Are you kind of like self-aware to realize that like you are kind of, you are on the Mount Rushmore of like this hip hop shit that lasts like 10 years. Like you are like up there. You are the pock of our generation for so many people. I've never seen them sit. So it's like, I got a long ways to go. Like. Is that even something that you're 24 years old? You have, I don't even know how many albums at this point. A lot. Could you ever see yourself? Like just, do you have thoughts about what happens after rap? I'm kind of set on going to jail right now. So I don't really think about too much. Hey, yeah. want me to put you over here? When you say you're, you're, you're set on going to jail, what, what do you mean? Like going back? Like you think that that's just in your fate? Man, I guess that was my life. I don't let it bother me on no shit like that. You create the bed, you know, you, you make the bed you lay. So you, that's kind of where your head's at when you think of the future, still. That's, that's interesting, because I, I do think, uh, shout out to Donnie Brasco that's on too right now. Shout out to uh, Al Pacino, all time go. Well, I think that you are somebody who has an immeasurable amount of influence and moreover power when it comes to this rap shit. Like, yeah. I had this conversation, uh, are you familiar with the artist named Lil Russell? Lil Russell? He's from uh, Oakland, he does concerts in his backyard. Independent kid. Oh. Okay, um, but we were talking about it yesterday and I was like, you know, there's a few artists in this game who, if they went independent, could break the music industry and really kind of expose it, right? And you were one of those names. I think it's you, I think it's Drake, I think it's The Weeknd, who really have the power to kind of like shift the industry you've already done it in such a way especially when it comes to youtube but you know you're one of you're one of them bro you're him bro like you know i think you you, you uh you definitely have a future outside of ending yeah. up back in jail hey i really like hate this shit you really like hate it should take a toll on me yeah my, my wife your kids just the music industry being just, famous just, just i wouldn't blame it on the industry it's all it's all about you go about it and i'm not that strong that's important to uh, be self-aware about, man. I cry a lot. Literally. You know, I'm in a plan where it's okay. Like, my wife, I don't know, bro. How, how much therapy have you uh, tried to go to? I know we talked earlier, you've gone to rehab, but therapy is an important um, tool in anyone's box, not just yours, but anybody's box, you know, to kind of deal with some, I mean, not everyone's as strong as we try to portray ourselves to be. I, uh, I tried it when I was 18. It was court order, and I, I finished it. Man. Yeah, I think the court order shit's different, though, you know? Like, I think you could have, you remember, listen, you're a Sopranos guy. Remember Tony had a therapist? Yeah. You remember that? I thought that she was gonna get him killed before, she, I, before I actually finished the show. For sure. Yeah. But Tony went to therapy, man, and it helped him deal with so much, because, you know, I always say this, like, for whatever reason, men in this world, we're not allowed to, society doesn't, they frown upon us being hurt. They frown upon us having feelings. We're supposed to hold it together. We're supposed to hold down the kids. We're supposed to hold down our wives. We're supposed to pay the bills. And I feel like, if you're the head of your household, if you're the head of your crew, if you're the leader, who do you talk to if you're going through some shit? You know what I'm saying? Do you have that person, or do you just internalize it, put it out through the music? I don't love music to that point no more where I run to the microphone. And no, I don't got that person to talk to. I think everybody should find that person. I think you should, you should try to go back to therapy, man. Because... I'm at, I have it um, on this Saturday. Oh, you do? Okay. 
you gotta be able to talk to somebody who doesn't already have kind of like their mind made up about you, who can't benefit off you. You know what I'm saying? Mom, mom, hey, I can smoke a cigarette here. I can smoke a cigarette right here. I don't give a fuck about this. Up. I'm trying to move in the middle of the water, kid. Middle of the water? Mm -hmm. Island? No. Like, you want to get a boat? Appreciate you, man. Stay safe. Um, and uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I, I love to see your growth, man. You know, I think that's something that I've publicly said in interviews. Like, I just love to see when people are self-aware and they grow because who we are yesterday, who we are today, who we're gonna be tomorrow, is not who we are today. So, much love, bro. Appreciate you, man. For sure, man. Thank you, young boy. Fat.